So this is part two um, of the Tubaka tutorial. So um, yeah, I hope you uh, kind of got to grips with the first one. Um, and this one is uh, just going to show you some some melody parts uh, that go along with with the uh, the convengo. So we're going to start with uh, the part that goes like this. Like that, okay. Um, so I'll just play it once around for you so you can hear what it sounds like in context. So here we go. So what that is, it's quite simple, is this, that's the finger part, okay, so it's da, da, so two times on the G, so number two here on the right side, and then we drop down to number three on the right side, the F, then we go to number one on the left, then we go to number four on the right, so, okay, then what we're going to do is bring in this right thumb, which is, rotating between number one and number three on the right thumb, okay? So what we're going to do here is this, start with these two together, so the G, so number two up here, and number one. So this is a bit of a stretch, because it's like that. Uh, so but remember to kind of keep your thumbs up and your finger down, it means you've got a bit more of a stretch. If you're like this, it's, it's really hard to reach, but if you do that, all of a sudden you'll find it much easier. So. So the first one you do it with it, the second one is alone, so. And then when you come down to this one here, the F, so number three, you play the C with it. Yeah, number three, so. And then we come here to one on the left side, and that's alone, no thumb, so. Directly after it, you play the F number one here on the right side. So, so far we are. And then after that, number four on the right side here. Yeah, so. And then we play one more C here. So, number three to finish off. So. And again. And you hear basically that running through straight. So you can do this, so you keep that rotating. So now adding it into the Kumbenga. Where it comes in is right at the end. Okay, so on part four, if you remember from the last video. Like that. Okay, and that's where it comes in, so it's. So you just do one part of, of part four. start. Okay, so again. Again. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, from the beginning, uh, just so you can hear what it sounds like in context again. do 
is we just come straight back in to part one to the beginning, yeah? So, so after that. So again, just practice that, um, get used to it, and then um, come back. And I'm going to show you, it's a similar part, it's the next part from that, and it goes on. It's a similar melody, but it's much longer. Okay. Okay, so if you've got that first part, we're going to move on to the second part of this melody. So what we're going to do is... Play that first part I just showed you. We come back in. And then when we get to there, okay, that D, the third one, so just the first time round. Then we start this next section, which is. So what that is, I'm just going to show you the finger part first. Okay, so it's okay. So the first part is exactly the same as um, the last thing I just showed you. So yeah, so uh, two, two, three, one, four. Okay, so then after four, we go back to number one here on the left. So. Like that, okay. Then we go to number two again here. Then we go to number three directly. So like this. Okay. Then what we do? One here again, and then number four here again. Okay, so it's similar. We're just not doing the double up here. So it's. Okay, again. Then we do it again, go back up to here, number one. Then we go to number uh, two, number three, again the same, number one. But then here it changes. Rather than going to four, we go here to number two on the left side. Okay? So the first time we do that second part, that one, and then okay, so it's da 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 two on the left side. You see, one more time. So that's the melody. What we need to do now is add in the thumbs. Okay, and what the thumbs are doing is this, this. Okay, they're playing number one on the right side and then number five on the left side. Like that, nice and simple. <laughs> but when we add it into the fingers, it starts getting a little more complicated. So. Same as the, f the last one I showed you, we start like that. So number one, 
on the right side played with number two up here. It's a bit of a stretch. Okay, remember to keep your finger down and your thumb up. It helps you with the stretch there. If you do it like that, it gets uncomfortable and hard to reach. Just like that. Okay. So we do the same. Double. The first time is with the thumb, second time is without. Okay, and this time it's different. Here we go. So instead of playing this one with it on the right side, we play this one on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah? It's with number three here. So it's right thumb, left thumb. Okay, so this can uh, take a while to get used to because you're playing. The finger is on the right and the right both times, but the thumb is changing from right to left. So, okay, it's good just to play around with that for a little bit and just kind of get used to that feeling. Okay, then what we're going to do? We're going to come to number one here on the left. Okay, after that one, directly we're playing number one here on the right thumb. Okay, so. After number four, we play this one again, number five thumb on the left side. So, okay. So it's like this. Okay. Then, if you remember, we go back to number one here. And what we're going to do after number one here, this one again, number one here on the right side. So. Okay. So. And then it's number, uh, it's number two up here on the right side. This one's alone. Then when you come down to number three here, so it's down. And we play this one with number three, number five on the left, with number three finger on the right. So it's okay. So all together we have. You see. Then we have one more time. Same again, one, one. Okay, so from the top. Okay, and this time, this is the one where we come to number two here on the left. So instead of going here, number four, we're gonna go to number two after. It's gonna go. See that, so. Yeah, number two, finger, and then number three, thumb on the right. So, so far. Okay, one more time. After that, where we're coming back in is on the third part of the gumbayo. So the whole thing in context is like this again.
quite a bit longer that one it can be a bit of a challenge to get used to that thumb rocking back and forward while playing it um, but yeah just keep practicing that and hopefully it will come clearer um, and easier as you go along so with these melody parts you can put them in different order and uh, what's nice to do with this one is you you do the first one I showed you so and then you can come back in and you can just go round again so you don't have to then straight away go back into that the second part then you can do it a second time round then you can come into the to the second part of the melody building on top of it so each time it gets longer and longer so then after the second part of the melody there's a third part of the melody and that's what I'm going to show you now okay so now I'm going to show you the third part um, of this melody so what we do so we, we play the second part of the melody so Just do that bit. So, so the, the 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 first three notes of of part three. Then we start this next melody. So we start on number four on the right. Then we go to number two on the left. Okay, and then we go, just keep coming down on the scale. Okay, so then we go to um, uh, number five on the right. Then we go to number three on the left. Okay, number six on the right. Uh, number four on the left. Okay. Then we do this, then we go up. So we come all the way down here to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the right. Then we go up to one, two, three, four on the, on the left. And just going up in the scales. So um, seven, four, six, three, five, two, And then it comes back down again. Okay, so then we go back to number five on the right, and then number three, um, and then uh, number uh, six. So, so far we have. There we go. One more here, which is number four. Then we do one more here, which is stopped, um, which is uh, number seven. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just add in the thumbs to that first part. Okay, so it's, it's quite simple, really. What we're doing is we're going rotating again, similar to before. We're rotating the right thumb. It's going between one, three, one, three, one, three, and it just keeps that going through. Okay, and it's on the offbeat at the beginning, so it's. Okay, so it's so after the first one, here number four, we play number one. Okay, then when we play with the left side, we play number two. Oh, sorry, number three. So it's. From there, we're going. Okay, so what's different here? We're doing it at the same time. So the first part we're doing off. So finger.
finger thumb, finger thumb, finger thumb, finger thumb, and then now we're doing it at the same time. So it's do it, and this time it's right thumb, left finger. So we start. It's just on the left finger that you do the thumb, and the right finger is still alone. So it's. So hopefully you're going to be able to try and work that out yourself. Okay. What I'm going to do is just play it really slowly for you, so you can see um, which fingers are being played with what thumb. Okay. So here we go. Okay. And that last one is alone, and it's muted. Okay, one more time. Okay, and after that, muted one, we're playing here with the thumb, right thumb, number uh, two. Okay, then what we can do is. So three, one, two, three, four, five. Both on the left side. We go up here to the other D octave. One, two, three, four. So it's yeah. So okay. And then directly after that, we go straight back to the beginning of the main kumbengo, part one. Okay, so. So that's three parts of the melody now that you have. I'm just going to play them back to back so you can hear what it sounds like. So from the first one, second one. Okay, so that is the third part of the melody. Okay, and that is a fourth part. There's one more part. We can add that in. And then you've got the whole part of that melody. Okay, and as I said before, you can just do it in any any order that you want. Or you can do it as long as you want. You can do the first one, you can do the second one, you can, you can do them all back to back. You can play around with it, you can have fun with it. So there's no real set way. So, the fourth part of the melody. So this is my favorite part. I absolutely love this bit. So, it's reasonably simple. It will help if you understand where the octaves are, okay? So an exercise that uh, I really recommend for people to do is doing the octaves scales. <laughs> Super helpful if you can do that because you know where the octave and all the time in the choir you're playing the octave to it. Okay, so what that is, you're just playing number three here on the right, and you're playing the octave here with the thumb. You always play one finger, one thumb. Okay, so this is uh, the other F. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you go to the other side. So it's number one and Drop down. So on the right side, you're here before, 
and then we're coming down. So we're four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's and then the same on the side, we just drop down one. Instead of being on one here, you got two. Instead of being four here, you're three. So it's and it's just walking down. Until you get to the end here, so you run out of notes, and then you go back up. Practice that as much as you can, always. Okay, so back to the to the last part of the melody, number four. So what it is is this. Okay. So we finished the third part. It goes like this. there so yeah same as before we stopped in that same place before just so section one the main mango finish there on the third one then we go okay so what that is two octaves so number one, then it's octave one, two, three, four, left side. And play them together two times. Then we come to the E octave, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we come back to the F octaves again. Then we go to the G octaves here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. But we don't do these two together. We go so left thumb first, then right finger. Okay, so. Okay, one more time. Then we have, okay, so it's the B flats, the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, together, and two times on the right by itself, so, okay, so, so far we have, Then we have, okay, okay, so starting here, number three on the left to here, so one, two, three, four, five, six on the right, okay, and this one is muted if you can. Okay, then we come to number four. One, two, three, four. Then it's uh, the left thumb on the number four. Then we do the octave to it afterwards on the right side here. Okay, which is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's okay. So with it, with it not stopped, it's like this. With it stopped. Okay, so it's. So from the top, okay, then we just have, okay, one, two, three, four, five, left, and then all the way down here, which is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or the third one from the So from the top, okay, 
then we just go back into the kumbango. But we go one C here, so number two, and then we go back in to number three of the kumbango. Okay, so. one back to back so you can hear what they sound like one after each other. there I did when we were doing this bit I've been a couple of notes in there but um, you, can, you can play around with that a little bit and find things that work um, and uh, don't work um, but uh, yeah it's kind of uh, it's kind of good just to try and of try and see what does work and doesn't work for you in different parts and add bits in and take bits away if you want to play around with it so I think that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was clear. It got a bit more complicated towards the end there. Um, but uh, yeah, if you find it really difficult, just kind of keep winding back and, and watching what my fingers are doing and um, it should become clear. But uh, yeah, if you have any, any questions or anything, just uh, yeah, get in contact with me and um, hopefully I can help you out. But uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. And... Uh, um, See you next time.